Hello traders, FX Pepcoletti here. Today is Friday, May 19th, and I'm going to be analyzing the pound yen starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. So on the monthly, I still think this is going to grow into an uptrend still, most likely going up to the 100% Fibonacci extension, but the 78 could also be the area where this possibly could end the wave C. Either way though, I do think we have a decent amount of upside potential left. So, as we go down to the sort of time frames, the weekly, I'm looking for an ABC down. As you can see, that's the last ABC correction. We have higher lows, higher lows ever since that time. I think that we have another higher low forming this week, and I do think that it's just going to keep on going, breaking out of these FIB levels, and just continue to trend up like we are showing on the monthly time frame. So taking it down to the daily time frame is where you can see the most recent pullback. We had a break of Strutzer by only a few pips right there, and then it made it almost a perfect ABC correction. And then it made another higher low, higher low, and just kept on trending up. I really don't think there's any reason to think this uptrend is over, and I'm definitely still going to be looking for longs on sort of time frames. Going down to the four hour time frame, you can see the downtrend for the A, the three ways up for the B, the downtrend for the C. Nice big impulsive move up. It does kind of resemble a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so I wouldn't be surprised if it did make another pullback. But like I always say, if it does make another pullback, that's actually very good for us because it gives us more opportunities to go long for the continuation of this uptrend. But there's definitely no guarantee it's going to make a pullback. It very easily could just keep on drifting up, especially looking at the longer time frames. So going down to the one hour time frame is where you can see the last correction. This is a downtrend wave A. That is three waves up right there, wave B. A little bit of a higher high right there, but that's an irregular top or an irregular wave B. And then we can see the downtrend for the wave C. Impulsive up, definitely looks like the end of a correction. Most likely it will break out of this high. Maybe there'll be some more pullbacks. Maybe not. Maybe it'll just keep on drifting up. But if it does make more pullbacks, that's good for us because that will give us more chances to go long for the continuation of what I think is a big wave C on the much, much longer time frames like the weekly and monthly time frames. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.